earth signs capricorn libra and taurus welcome to your weekly elemental reading this is going to cover december 14th through the 20th 2020 or whenever you find these um happy motherfucking monday or what whatever day it is for you just a few housekeeping uh announcements remember these are general readings so if you find that um it doesn't resonate for you something flipped over i'll explain it in a minute if it doesn't resonate for you um you can always book a private reading. Uh, that way the energies are solely focused on you. Uh, you can bo book those at grateful underscore Drake. Uh, hit me in the DMs and I'll get right back to you. Uh, I also do additional readings every Tuesdays and Fridays. So you can catch some readings over there for free. Why the hell not? Uh, please remember to like, of course, share these videos and subscribe. It helps me a lot. And leave a comment if something resonated. Uh, and just remember, it's up to you to decide when I say he, she, you, or them. It's up to you to decide what roles are, are meant for which people in your life, okay? So um, I just want to make sure everybody feels comfortable and know that they are welcome here in this space. And if I'm saying he, 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 you know it's her, 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 then it's her. Okay, so as I was shuffling, as I was kind of talking... What I see here that flipped over is a reverse Queen of Wands. The reverse Queen of Wands was well, fire sign energy, um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But if that doesn't resonate, what it really indicates is kind of a sense of feeling powerless uh, in your life right now. It could be either, either yourself or somebody that you're dealing with. But just feeling kind of a, a, even just like a loss of energy for something that used to maybe excite you. Okay, it followed up by the Six of Wands, which is victory. And when it's reversed, it just talks about feeling like we haven't been seen, we haven't been heard. We kind of lost our zest for this thing and um, not feeling too good, feeling like we can't manifest uh, what we would like to manifest in our lives. Okay, so let's start with your main spread. Dang, I meant to close that window and I forgot. I don't want to get up. cold in here getting cold Okay, guys, so this is what I'm seeing. <clears throat> There's something that you had your sights on that was really, okay, gotta close the window, that felt really exciting and you had hoped for success. The first card out is a reverse chariot. Um, the chariot is also the card of cancer. It doesn't have to be. It's just a, um, it's a, want you to listen more so to the characteristics of the card okay and when the chariots reverse it shows karma's course has been kind of halted okay so something that felt very karmic to you something that felt like it was meant to be um there's there was a stop to it okay which left you feeling kind of tied and bound and and not being able to really move you felt like you couldn't move you felt kind of trapped however center cards wheel of fortune i love when the wheel of fortune comes in the middle because it just shows this kind of window of opportunity okay some of the key words for this card are destiny and fate so we're looking at having this new window of opportunity hmm there are messages that are trying to come through um but you're kind of feeling um, maybe you're blocking these messages or um, you're having trouble kind of hearing them clearly because of maybe being in your head too much regarding a choice that you feel you need to make. 
we end on two of swords so this is um my card that says stalemate like at a crossroads like we're supposed to be moving forward but we don't feel like we can and we might have a choice between two people or we might have to move or choose a new direction there's some kind of I have to make a choice that's on the board here okay it feels kind of heavy it feels like you're in your head a lot I feel like you're seeking this kind of like in love feeling okay um, let's pull some clarification cards on these Okay, guys, what else can you tell me about this spread here for Earth Signs? Perhaps even you were, whatever the beginning of the situation was, the, where the chariot follows this Eight of Swords, you were being quite vulnerable in this situation. And when it came to an end, um, I mean, what a terrible feeling to be putting yourself out there being vulnerable with other people and then it's not whatever happened that there was an end to it made you feel kind of trapped okay um Interesting. You guys got the will of fortune and sudden wealth. So, um, someone's making a judgment on some information that they've received, which is going to bring in kind of this abundance. Um, so or it's even you that's making this this choice or this judgment on on information that's coming in you guys got eight of wands reversed which is messages coming in but it's reversed so it shows kind of like a blockage um a stop to the messages um but you also got messages combined with sudden wealth so there's this heavy emphasis on like information coming in so it feels like you were like you're at this crossroads because of this stopping in like infer a choice you had. There's something that kind of like, uh, uh, I just feel like stopped. Okay. But when you kind of let your hair down and make a choice and flow towards the direction that suits you best, there's going to be this sudden wealth. Okay. Sudden wealth can also be, um, sim symbolic for just feeling good and joy. Some of you guys actually have like a, a legal situation going on with somebody and you're going to get some information regarding the situation, which really opens the doors for you. You get wheel of fortune. Like I said, wheel of fortune with sudden wealth. So it's like a really, really lucky opportune time. Things are going to go in your favor. Uh Oh, shoot. Let's take this card. I see a mixed up one. I mixed one. I always do this. I mixed one of the other cards in there. So let's read that one. Let's take that one because it's not meant to be in there and it stands out. So I think it's for you guys. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. Concern. I'm feeling some worry, okay? However, it feels like there's healing on the brink for you, okay? So whether that's, you know, healing or sudden wealth or feeling joyous again, there's something really good coming in because we have concern and then we have the child and then we have the flowers. And flowers are indicative of good health. Um, they're also indicative of love and, and um, uh, what's the word? Like things people do for each other to show that they love each other, okay? There could be this like reignition of like childhood kind of like just happiness that's even available here okay let's pull some more cards let me make sure i put these in the right in the right deck <laughs> sounded like something else <laughs> okay let's let's pull some clarification cards on this <laughs> what a child 
child. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oop. There we go. Is that just one? Yes, sir. So we got Queen of Swords. Oh, and Eight of Swords. Okay, so Eight of Swords came out for you guys twice. So maybe even there was some communication with somebody that was cut off. Oh, wow. The Chariot again, you guys. Hold on. Let me simmer on this. Queen of Swords Reverse is um, a queen, a female energy, a person or a situation that is lacking communication. So we're definitely seeing like words that were not spoken, have not been spoken. You've had to keep it to yourself, um, which has left you feeling trapped. Okay, so you get Eight of Swords up here and then you get Eight of Swords down here as well. Different decks, same card heavy emphasis on feeling stuck and trapped in your karmic cycle okay you feel like karma was you know there was like something that you couldn't communicate in regards to some something that felt really karmic okay however whatever you endured or whatever has been going on there is this successful ending that shows up here so by putting yourself out there and being vulnerable in the first place like this chariot even though maybe it didn't pan out in your favor and it left you feeling like this eight of swords it feels like you probably um were actually making the right moves even though you couldn't see it that way at first because yeah because we start and we end with this chariot card which kind of like caps it off it kind of holds it together this successful movement forward okay interesting Okay, so this does feel like, I don't know if this is past yet or not, but in general, some of us are looking at relationships with people that we felt were our soulmate. However, the way things panned out, they weren't very healthy, okay? Um, feels like this connection caused us to feel incredibly emotional, un emotionally unstable, pretty sad, maybe even cut off from our emotions, just really not feeling good. Queen of Cups is the first card that showed up here, but she shows up reversed. So, <sighs> sorry. So when Queen of Cups is reversed, she just fucking doesn't feel good. And look how she's facing this Knight of Wands. He's like, almost like trying to get her attention or get to her, but she's just kind of not available. So somebody's been kind of emotionally unavailable and was re trying to reignite the passion for the situation, but somebody wasn't all the way there. However, look, here's our center card, okay? On one side of it, here we have this Knight of Wands. On the other side, we have this Knight of Cups. So we're moving through the spread, right? First, second, third. And we have this proposal or this kind of rig, this, I keep saying reignition, but it just kind of feels like something's being reignited to me. Um, so King, uh, Knight of Cups shows a proposition of love, or it shows, um, something that would have you feeling fulfilled. Something that would not have you doing all the work on your own. Okay, so I kind of want to get some more information about this. You may even have two suitors at this time. Could be somebody fire sign and somebody water sign. Um, if not, we're looking at somebody um, who is, oh, passion. Okay, come, for, come through. 
somebody who's like really passionate and creative. And then on the other side, somebody who's like an incredibly emotional, emotionally stable and able to like get on your level with emotions. Like it's, it's not like this big fucking game with emotions, like dealing with a fucking child. Oh my gosh. I cannot with the emotional, emotionally unavailable people. I cannot. Okay. Passion, abundance, and miracle. Oh, that's really bomb. Let's check them out. Bottom of the deck. Isolation. So you could be coming out of a time where you have been kind of isolated, <laughs> kind of in your little bubble. Feels like some things you're in a Damn it. Sorry about that, Earth Signs. Camera cut off. I ran out of memory on my memory card. I forgot to delete last week's readings. Okay, so I believe where we ended off. I had just finished these. That is definitely where we ended off, okay? We've got our passion, abundance, and miracle. So also, the thing about that is that um, the abundance card has an emphasis on like perspective and like how do we perceive the situation and there being when we find that shift in perception um then the miracles can come in so it feels like some of you guys have gone from like um not having enough kind of like kind of refocusing our attention so that the miracles can begin to come in like we were focused on like oh my god this didn't happen for me so i feel trapped and i feel lost okay now we're going to we're going to we're going to shift out of that energy that momentum so that we can um so that we our blessings can come in so we can see the blessings even in the first place. All right. So let's check the bottom of the deck here. That's right. I I did that and I was isolation. So some of you some of you guys might even be coming kind of like coming out of that like hermit period, kind of like been spending a lot of time alone. It does feel like things are shifting for you. Earth signs. Oof. Yes. The chimera. Imagination clouds your judgment. The harlequin. True feelings are masked. Okay, so some of you guys. And then we have the spirit. Unseen forces watch over you. So just remember, stay grounded. Imagination clouds your judgment. And to show your real face, you know, be in your authenticity. True feelings are masked. So don't, you know, it's important to daydream because it helps us know what we want for ourselves. But it's also important to get a healthy dose of um, reality. Okay. You are being guided and protected at this time as well. Mmm, leap of faith. Whoosh, these are some heavy cards down here. These are some heavy cards down here. So I'm feeling like some of us earth signs right now are feeling like really just like kind of pessimistic. Okay. The wish fulfillment card comes reverse. The three of cups comes reverse. So these are happy cards, a lot of celebration. You may have even like, there was a wish that you had hoped for. It didn't manifest. So you like overindulged and now you are regretting it. Okay. Our center card is the fool, which is when he comes up, right? He's talking about taking that leap of faith. Okay. Um, some of you guys moved toward the tower or need to move towards the tower. Um, the tower moment shows up here which shows a complete breakdown of the way things used to be. Now, the tower moment comes for us so that we can then rebuild. It's for our, our greater good, but it sure fucking doesn't feel like it, right? The tower is followed by ten of swords, like absolutely taking all of your energy or signs. So I'm going to pull some clarification cards on this tower and this ten of swords. There it is. Why'd I put that deck there? Tower and Ten of Swords here. Don't don't toss yourself into a tailspin because you you're upset with yourself. Like don't dig your hole deeper. Um, you know, be easy on yourself. That 
Ten of Wands reversed again. Feeling like you're having to do everything on your own. This is in regards to the Tower and the Ten of Swords, please. Tower and Ten of Swords. Let's take this. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. So Four of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. This is about, um, you know, whenever we're trying to um, provide things of the earth, whether it be finances, career, income, or it be self-worth that we're cultivating, it's important to remember to ask for help. Okay. You can't do everything alone. Some of you guys may even be experiencing physical pains in parts of your body, maybe your back, just too much is on your back. Okay. There may be a sense of kind of like hoarding mentality at this time too, because, um, you're worried about losing it or not having enough. All right, but but what shows up is security, okay? It's followed by the Ace of Cups, which is like an abundance of fulfillment and love and joy coming your way. So you just, not you just, I know I make it sound so easy. So you just got to do this. You got to believe it though. Okay, King of Swords reversed. So some of y'all need to work on your communication skills to get lots of swords here. Uh, swords represent, you know, all things of the head. How we hear information, how we see it, how we perceive it, how it sounds to us uh, versus how it sounds to maybe somebody else who has different life experiences. Uh, swords represent us, how we speak, how we talk, how we talk about our truth and stuff like that. So um, it's important that um, a lot of what's going on since you got so many swords is, is, is there's just a sense of like... Um, your perceptions are maybe not completely accurate or clear. These flipped over accidentally. King of Cups and Ten of Wands reverse. So we're looking for emotional stability. No longer dealing with people who have fucked up boundaries. Okay. Or um, dealing with people who um, are really paranoid because of issues they've had in the past. With other, in other relationships and other situations. So they may be then... Putting up these high standards, high walls, high boundaries against you because they're scared. Okay. Some of us could be dealing with water signs um, as well. Okay. But King of King of King of Cups is about emotional mastery of emotions. Like he's a great king to get. I'll take one of those. Thank you very much. Eight of Cups, okay. Leaving something that no longer fulfills us at one time it did. Okay. This is emotional competence, emotional, um, oh, four of pentacles again, emotional intelligence. They call this card, which is a cool is cool because emotional intelligence is like, you're fucking smart. Like it doesn't feel good, but you're willing to go through the dark, the dark time because you understand what what the long-term picture looks like. You understand that you're able to pan out and see it's for your better good and that actually in the long run, you'll be much better off if you go this route, okay? Okay. All right, so what else came out is Four of Pentacles, which came out earlier, but it came out up, upright earlier. So Four of Pentacles is about really like feeling very insecure, okay? Maybe you're leaving this kind of mentality. Um, Four of Pentacles shows you feeling um, very unsafe, unstable, um, really um, hanging on to ideals or... Um, We're hanging on to a sense of self that isn't accurate. It's a kind of comes out of a place of lack. This is a fear of letting go of either an ideal or of money, like literally hoarding possessions or money because you're scared of losing it or you're, you're fearful, or this is, um, you know, holding on to old ideals that are not beneficial for your growth and development. Okay, center card is Ace of Wands, which shows this reignition. Have I said, is that, you guys have said it like three times, three, four times already. 
it's just this nice new energy coming back in to help you manifest what you'd like. There's something being created that you cannot quite see the whole picture to at this time. Um, and there may even be in call, in, 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 in session, uh, required for you to make an amends with somebody or uh, apologize for something you've done or just this kind of uh, an awakening or an epiphany that's happening here for you. The judgment card reverse is about taking accountability for things that we've done that can that may have hurt other people. Okay, so um, either you or someone that you're dealing with needs to make an apology, but is um, kind of stuck and stubborn. And what's going to happen is if we're not able to take accountability for our actions. Um, the gifts that could be manifest are kind of slowed down or put out a halt. You know, it's kind of like this three of pentacles coming before the judgment card kind of shows me that there's something that's trying to work in your favor, but you're being a little stubborn about something here. That's uh no bueno. Openness. Okay. They want you to open your mind a bit here. Success. Once we open our minds. Okay. Remember how expansive we are when it's not this little shell like it's not just you It's not just your little world. It's it's a whole intric intricate um, Inner workings of life. Okay, and change got to be open to the change that's available Okay, so let's pull you guys Let's check the bottom of the deck first dun, dun, dun. Going forward so keep moving forward. Don't get stagnant. We're, we need to be open to change growth so that the success can come in let's check the bottom of this deck dun, dun, dun. oh that's the guy we checked already let's check the bottom of this, this deck dun, dun, dun. <laughs> two of pentacles so this is definitely like an emphasis on finances um or wealth so wealth or worth you're kind of in this pattern that kind of keeps looping around keeps keeps oh 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 here we are but we're back at the beginning again kind of making the same mistakes over and over again. You might be a little bit in your ego, overthinking, kind of um, having trouble seeing everybody's roles in the situation. Uh, we want to break these patterns. We want to get off the loop so that we can grow, okay? Let me pull you one last card, and then we're going to call it a day. No signs, please. Victim, so... Oof, that's that's rough but victim card just talks about you know we tend to feel sorry for ourselves it's hard for us to see uh, the role that we've played in our life to get us here so either you or somebody in your life is kind of playing this role and it's just kind of keeping you stagnant or it's just keeping this person stagnant okay earth signs I love you guys happy motherfucking Monday or whenever you find these remember to please like the like this video share and subscribe I would appreciate it See you next time. Bye.